pretty tiring, but uh, I can say you know a lot of guys are picking up everything pretty well. A lot of new ones. Uh, it's going pretty good. Uh, it's fun so far, so I'm happy to be here. Hey, you're the veteran. You've, you've been through these before, but like you said, there's still some new things you guys are implementing. Um, I guess are you halfway through, and are you guys halfway through and putting that stuff in, or where I mean, are you at? I hope we're halfway through. <laughs> it's been long, what four, five days. Uh, so um, hopefully, you know, everyone's picking up everything that we're putting in so far pretty quick. So. Uh, we, we can't show everything so far. You know, it's going to be a lot of stuff that we, we add on the fly. But uh, for what Coach has shown us uh, thus far, I think everyone's, you know, picking it up pretty quickly, uh, dialing into it, uh, running everything uh, pretty crisp. So I, I think it's going good. How are you meshing with Stucky? I mean, it's pretty good. It's always good to have another guy next to you that can play the one and, and you know, give you a little bit of break. Uh, so you can, you know, not have to worry about, you know, setting guys up or, or trying to make everyone happy. So it, it's been pretty good so far. He joked the other day he had six coaches in his seven years in Detroit, so he's used to learning new systems. Is he picking up this one pretty quickly? I mean, definitely so. You know, I feel like we've tried to make it an uh, easy adjustment for him, uh, give him simple things to, to learn and, and things like that, and he's picked it up very well. So. Uh, you know, Coach Vogel is a good, does a great job of, you know, playing to guys' strength and throwing plays at guys who, who has that strength. And I think with this style of play being almost almost similar to Lance's style of play, uh, fits him right into the system very well. I'm curious about... Um, oh, yeah. You over there? This is the support, encouragement, or just anything that you're giving to your, your guy, Paul George, while he goes through the injury. Uh, the emotional side or just... Just being the friend there for him. What have you been doing? I mean, just you know, chilling with him on days off, things like that, fishing. Uh, since both of us like to fish, we, we know we go out there and fish and clear our minds, talk about things that's that's either good or bad, or basketball related or not basketball related, and uh, just showing that that I'm there. You know, I'm a brother he can count on uh, that to talk to no matter what, and uh, just knowing him that that all of us is here. Uh, he don't have to go through it by himself, knowing that all of us are here in this corner trying to help him be the best he can be. I know some of the slight injuries you've had since a pro, but even going back to maybe your CYO days or just youth basketball days, did you have anything that was that took you out for an extended amount of time? Well, my, my junior year in college, my first junior year, I was out for the whole season with a fourth, uh, fourth and fifth break in my metatarsal. So uh, when, I, when I had that, I was kind of out for the whole year. So I know how he feels, uh, staying off his feet. Um, Mine was on the, the toe area, so I couldn't actually be pressured for three months uh, because I tried to come back too early and, and kind of mess it up. So just, you know, giving him my my thoughts about, you know, trying to rush stuff and, and not letting it properly heal and things like that. But uh, with the progress that we've seen, he, he's doing a great job.